Hello friends, welcome to electronics for you. In this video, I will explain 8051 program for two's complement of a number. So here is the program. Find two's complement of a number stored in register R0 of bank 0 and store the result in R1 of same bank. Note here that you have to find the two's complement of a number which is stored in the register R0 of register bank 0. Okay, so here first we have to select the register bank to get the number from register 0. And here is the bit pattern for PSW register which has two bits that is bit 4 and bit 3 that is RS1 and RS0 respectively to select the register bank and here we have to choose the bank 0 and to choose bank 0 we have to make RS1 and RS0 as 0. Then register bank 0 will be chosen and they, uh, uh, thereafter we can access the number from register R0 and therefore our instruction now to make this bit that is bit R S1 okay it is bit 4 of PSW register and it is indicated by P S W point four. Okay, we have to make it zero and therefore to make it zero we will use CLR instruction. CLR P S W point four it will make fourth bit as zero. Similarly we require third bit also zero therefore it is P S W point three. Now these two these two instructions are for register bank 0 ok so here register bank 0 is chosen now next we have to get a number from R0 also note that we are having uh, to find the twos complement first we need to find the ones complement and once the ones complement is found we have to add 1 and there, thus we will get the 2's complement of a number. Now to get this, we have to use the instruction to find 1's complement and the only instruction which is available is CPL that is complement accumulator. It means that we have to take number into accumulator and therefore we will use here mu instruction mu a comma R0. It means that the content of R0, register R0 is loaded into accumulator and we know that R0 is having the number which uh, two's uh, complement is to be found and therefore here to get the two's complement now I am using the CPL A instruction that is A is equal to A's complement. Now, 1 is to be added and there are two instructions which are available to add 1 into the content of accumulator. The first and very simple instruction is INCA that is increment the content of accumulator or we can use add instruction add A comma hash 01 H or you can write only 01 which is a decimal number also. Okay, now once complement is one is added into one's complement, thus we got the two's complement. Okay, here that two's complement is to be stored into R1. Now we know that the result is in accumulator and we have to find the two's complement, uh, we have to store the two's complement again. We will use mu instruction which is mu R1 comma a because the content of accumulator should be copied into r1 register and at the end we can end the program here stop ajmp stop so in this way 
we can find the two's complement of a number stored in register bank 0 for R0. Now again the next program for two's complement is a number stored in memory location 3000H. Okay, now here the mem uh, number is stored in 3000H memory location and we have to store the result into 3001H memory location. This is the external memory location and whenever we have to use the external memory location, we must use the memory pointer and for that uh, we will use uh, the data pointer here and therefore the first instruction is move dptr comma hash our memory is 3000h therefore i will write 3000h here now dptr is declared for the memory pointer and further uh, to load the number into accumulator we have to use move x instruction the instruction is move x a comma at the rate dptr it means that the content of 3000 h memory location is copied into accumulator now and to find the two's complement again same procedure is used that is cpl complement accumulator instruction is used that means that the content of accumulator is complemented then we can use inca or we can add the instruction now we can use move a comma hash 01 h it means that 01 is added into accumulator. So, accumulator plus 1 is the result and which is stored into accumulator. As we got the two's complement, further we can increment the data pointer. Now, this dptr is already having value as 3000 h and after this dptr will have value 3001H. Now, it is indicating 3001H and we have to store the result into 3001H memory location as it is given in the question. Okay. In this case, in this case again we will use move x instruction, move x at the rate dptr comma a. So, the content of accumulator is copied into indirect memory location indicated by dptr which is nothing but 3000 h so a is copied into 3001 h memory location and further we can stop the program that is the end of our program by stop ajmp stop so in this way we can find the two's complement num of a number which is stored in external memory location Keep watching. Thank you.